On Apple Valley News Now, local growth as work begins soon on a busy interchange in Pasco. And in true November weather, conditions are going to change for the weekend. Look for fog, freezing fog, chilly temperatures. All the details coming up in my first alert weather forecast. Plus the program. This is Apple Valley News Now at 5 on your side. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Alyssa Warner. Let's begin with those chilly and foggy conditions. We saw gray skies earlier today. A warm sample of the holiday season in Richland, though, as workers are busy putting up winter themed lights around John Dan Plaza. There's also the little houses and the decorations going up ready for the holidays. Stacy, it's nice to see some holiday cheer. We've got Thanksgiving under a week away now. That's right, and the Arctic blast, the rest of the U.S. can join the cold party because it is swooping down, covering the pretty much entire United States, all the way down to Texas and parts of Florida. So very, very cold weather. That Arctic blast is here, and it's here to stay at least for several days ahead. Uh, let's take a look at uh, what's going on as far as the temperature change since last night. 24 hours ago, we are sitting three degrees Tri-Cities cooler than we were yesterday. And if you remember yesterday, we were eight degrees cooler than the day before. Prosser, four degrees cooler as well as Walla Walla. So it is chilly tonight. Definitely want to bundle up. We've been tracking that fog and poor visibility through I-90 Snoqualmie Pass, Clee Ellum area down to one mile of visibility. We're doing okay so far in the Columbia Basin tonight, but we already are starting to see reduced visibility in Pendleton and Hermiston, so we'll continue to watch for that fog. Legends Casino Skycam is 36 degrees and our winds at 7 miles an hour. The sunset just a little while ago. So cloudy, chilly weekend, patchy late night, early morning fog could land on the ground, making it slick on those roads. Strong gusty winds are the big local story this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Plus, we're tracking weekend showers and mountain snow. All the details coming up in your first alert weather forecast. Alyssa. Thanks, Stacey. We usually think of summer as road work season, but construction is just about to begin on a busy interchange in Pasco. As the west end of Pasco grows, the busy I-182 I and Broadmoor Boulevard interchange is expected to get even more congested. That's why a construction project is about to get underway to improve traffic flow and pedestrian and cyclist safety. Part of the reason for the project is to eliminate that backup that's happening right now, but then also to accommodate the growth that's planned for the Broadmoor area with all the commercial and residential development in that particular area. We knew that we needed to uh, make improvements at the interchange to accommodate that increase in traffic as well. Pasco Public Works Director Steve Worley says the contractor was permitted to start work in the area on Wednesday of this week, but it's up to them when they mobilize their equipment. The project involves the construction of a multi-lane roundabout and a new loop ramp connecting eastbound I-182 traffic to northbound Broadmoor Boulevard. Construction is expected to last about a year and the overall project cost $10 million. For the design and the environmental process and the requirements of meeting WSDOT and Federal Highways Administration requirements, whenever you make changes to an interstate system, uh, all of that's been done and then the construction cost added on top of that as well. Now traffic will be permitted through the area throughout construction. Worley says work will initially begin on the loop ramp with minimal impact to traffic, but once construction begins on the roundabout, Drivers will be encouraged to find an alternate route. Food banks are now facing a severe situation just ahead of Thanksgiving. According to USA Today, food banks CEOs says this is the worst rate of hunger witnessed in years. They say the level of need is so high it's similar to past recessions as they try to feed people with fewer resources. More families have turned to food banks since the pandemic era aid ended earlier this year. And that's on top of inflation, which has pushed prices higher. It's also negatively impacted food bank budgets. Now you can help with donations of non-perishables like peanut butter, tuna fish, mac and cheese, non-perishable milk, or simply cash. Now we think of fall as the time a lot of plants go dormant because of the cold and the shorter days. But here in eastern Washington, this is also the time to get new native plants in the ground because of the rainier weather. And there's still lots of natural beauty to be found if you know where to look. Some local students are getting a first-hand experience with the local ecosystem thanks to grants awarded by the state. 
Local Youth Ecology Education Through Restoration, or YEAR, coordinator Mickey Simons showed me around her own garden as an example of what's possible using native plants instead of the things that were never really intended to grow here. It gets really cold, it gets really hot, it, we get six to eight inches of precipitation annually in this area. That's less than Tucson, Arizona. And so we need to be working with our ecosystem. Now, the YEAR program does have the benefit of getting kids outdoors for more than sports and recess, but organizers are hoping it will have a lifetime's worth of impact. Coming up tonight on Apple Valley News Now at 6, we'll show you how a local middle school is implementing the curriculum, and we'll hear from the science teacher who's making it happen. A consumer alert tonight, Honda recalling 250,000 vehicles. According to federal traffic safety officials, the issue involves a rod bearing that could wear and seize. That could result in an engine stall or other issues that could end in a crash or a fire. Now, this impacts models made by both Honda and Acura, like the Acura TLX and MDX, the Honda Pilot, Ridgeline, and Odyssey. Dealers will conduct free inspections and repairs on those vehicles, and the company will send out notification letters to owners starting in January. Amazon has removed seven brands of eye drops from its online marketplace. The FDA informed the company that the eye drops are classified as new drugs, and they haven't gotten approval. The eye drops are marketed as treatments for conditions like pink eye, dry eyes, dust, irritation, and cataracts. The FDA also had major retailers remove some over-the-counter eye drops from store shelves last month. The issue there is that they were made in a facility where bacteria turned up in some of the production areas. Now to an expanded pet food recall over salmonella contamination concerns. TFP Nutrition expanded its voluntary recall to include all dry dog, dry cat, and catfish formulas manufactured in their Nacogdoches, Texas facility. The products sold under multiple brand names, and you can find more information about the recall on the FDA.gov or check tfpnutrition.com backslash recall. Dogs can get sick from salmonella, and so can humans if you don't wash your hands after you touch contaminated pet food. Cinnamon shipments from other countries will get closer inspection by the FDA for potential lead contamination. The FDA is investigating illnesses linked to Wanabana and Weiss and Schnucks fruit and cinnamon pouches. The agency believes it's not the fruit, but the cinnamon that could be the source of the contamination. So far, 34 reports of illness with state cases spanning 22 states. Products were made in Ecuador, sold on Amazon, Dollar Tree, and Sam's Club. So far, no illnesses have been reported in other products containing the cinnamon. Last month, the Pasco School District announced its new name, Harvest View. But after this week's school board meeting, the district is taking another look. School District President Amy Phillips says the input on the school name was one of the biggest responses they've had from the public. While she's open to revisiting the process, she says she wants the district to move forward. Members of the board and the community, though, disagree. They say the process was rushed and none of the names on the final list reflect, they say, the city of Pasco to them. One of the student representatives on the board says it's time to listen to the students. And I just really want to acknowledge how important it is that we need to put ourselves in the place of these students that are going to be attending this school because they are going to be the ones that are going to be directly affected by all of these decisions. And it's going to be a decision that's going to have to stay put for years to come. Not going to affect, it's going to affect a lot of students. One of the school board members called the district's project process for choosing the name, quote, flawed. The school district moved forward with logos, a mascot, colors, and branding. But at the end of the meeting, the board said it would consider branding for Sageview and Desert Vista. The school is set to open in 2025. An investigation by the Department of Education into allegations of anti-Semitism and Islamophobia at seven schools. That's according to a Biden administration official who said the investigations include five anti-Semitism cases and two Islamophobia cases. This involves six colleges, including Cornell, Lafayette, Columbia, Wellesley College, the Cooper Union for the Advancement of Science and Art, and the University of Pennsylvania. A K-12 school in Kansas is also under investigation. The Department of Education will make recommendations at the end of these investigations. Those that don't abide by those recommendations risk losing federal funds. The Western Gray Squirrel is now designated as endangered in Washington State. The while those squirrels are a common sight, 
Western gray squirrels don't live near cities. They live deep in the forest and play a significant role in spreading seeds and acorns throughout the woods. They're also larger with bushier tails than their cousins, the eastern gray squirrel. Logging, growth, and climate change driven fires have negatively impacted squirrel habitat and their numbers. It's a big college football weekend once again here on Apple Valley News Now. Tomorrow afternoon, the University of Washington Huskies face the Oregon State Beavers in Corvallis. Kickoff is 4.30 Saturday, and again, you can watch all the action right here on Apple Valley News Now. Coming up tonight at 6.30, we'll preview all of the other Week 12 matchups. Local scenery on the silver screen, the special anniversary, and your opportunity to mark it with a screening of Cement Suitcase this weekend. We're talking about that coming up. Cold and gray skies in eastern Washington. Now, of course, it's dark. Conditions, though, shifting over the weekend. Stacey Lee has all the details coming up in your first alert forecast. And flavor of the holidays with a special Thanksgiving market. You're watching Apple Valley News Now. Whether you celebrate holiday road trips in a Cadillac CT5, promising festive joy around every corner, or unexpected cheer in a Cadillac CT4, this holiday season, Cadillac is celebrating you. Get 2.9% APR plus 500 purchase allowance on most 2024 Cadillac CT4 and CT5 models. Visit your Yakima and Tri-Cities Cadillac dealer today. Are you looking for a bank that has traditional values and modern solutions? Are you looking for a bank that is member owned? Are you looking for a bank that leaves a lasting impact on the community? I've got news for you. You're not looking for a bank. Belong to something better. Join Hapo Community Credit Union where you are more than just a member. Visit hapo.org to join today. Where do you credit union? Does your bath or shower need a remodel? Bathfitter can do it all. We'll remove your existing fiberglass tub or shower and replace it with a custom crafted shower or soaker tub. All made in America at our state of the art factory. We rebuild your walls with new drywall and install a custom made tub or shower with seamless walls in as little as one day. All work is guaranteed and built to last. Call your locally owned Bathfitter store now to book your free in-home estimate or visit bathfitter.com. Now's the time to get a great deal on select Kubota equipment. Part of the number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience in the U.S., they offer the versatility and reliability to get the job done right, all year round. Right now at participating dealers, get a Kubota compact tractor for zero down, 0% 0 APR for 84 months, plus save up to $800. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. An accident can shatter your life. The award-winning team at Tamaki Law can put your life back together. I'm attorney Jeff Kreutz. And I'm attorney Megan Changaroya. Thank you Tri-Cities for voting us best personal injury and best overall law firm. We are so honored and grateful to serve this amazing community. If you've been seriously injured, call the law firm that has served Central Washington for 30 years. Call Tamaki Law and get your life back. The best way to end your day. That is good TV. Friends, tonight at 11.05. The FAA will utilize students to fill thousands of open air traffic controller positions. It'll let students with air traffic control degrees bypass basic academy training. They would still have to complete a skills test and other assessments before going directly to field training. The program has the support of nearly three dozen universities and is the recommendation of an independent expert panel, which found the current efforts only result in a few new hires every year. The agency needs to fill 3,000 air traffic controller positions. Work on the Tri-Cities Food Co-op's physical location in Richland has been going slower than organizers were hoping for when we spoke with them earlier this year. Now, the proposed location on Jadwin Avenue, which is near the Uptown Shopping Center in Richland, still under construction as of this afternoon, but it will be buzzing tomorrow as the co-op hosts a Thanksgiving market. Get here early and uh, shop away. You're going to have some of the best stuff that you're going to be able to put on your table to entertain with this year. So we're really, really excited for that. Getting into the holiday cheer, getting into that holiday season and seeing some familiar faces is going to be a lot of fun. 
Now you'll be able to find everything from turkeys to charcuterie boards. These are just the wooden boards. They're not filled. You get to do that yourself. You'll also find local restaurants offering pre-orders for the holiday if you're maybe looking for somebody to help out with the side dishes. Now, you don't need to be a co-op member to shop the Thanksgiving market tomorrow, but members do get some special perks. It's coming up tomorrow from 11 until 3. You can also find seasonal inspiration at the Richland Sensory Seniors Association Holiday Sale. It runs Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 3 at the Richland Community Center. There you can find Christmas items, ornaments, cards, and more. Well, Thanksgiving is less than a week away. Christmas is just over a month out and daily schedules can become hectic with holiday preparations like shopping, cooking, and even just meeting with loved ones. While they can be a source of joy, they can also take a toll on your mental health. Ivan Rodriguez shows us how to make the best of the holiday season. The holidays can provide a sense of gratitude, hope, and love for many but gatherings can also create a mixed bag of emotions. The holidays is a time that people really put a lot of pressure on themselves to make sure everything is absolutely perfect. About 64% of people with mental illness report holidays make their conditions worse, according to a study by the National Alliance on Mental Illness. The Alliance recommends a few steps to manage your stress, including maintaining realistic expectations and prioritizing self-care. We have to be really mindful, I think, about what our boundaries are going into these holiday events. For others, the stress of the holidays can be tied to painful family interactions and memories or dealing with isolation and spending the season alone. One of the things that's really important that I like to talk with people about is how to make a decision on what's actually best for us, right? Sometimes we need to um, push out of our comfort zones, but sometimes we need to honor that it's actually not the right place for us to be. Experts say although everyone's holiday situation is unique, it could be beneficial to break from a traditional family gathering or habit. It's a wonderful time to start your own traditions that feel like really uplifting for yourself. Go to yoga on, you know, one of the holidays or volunteer at a soup kitchen, something that helps you feel part of a community or connected. I'm Ivan Rodriguez reporting. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. Well, it feels like we've been on a weather roller coaster the last several days, and the roller coaster ride continues. Dust Devil Giza Sky Cam tonight. Uh, I was, you can't tell, but pretty foggy. I was watching a plane coming in for a landing. I hope they had their high beams on, or their low beams, excuse me. 36 degrees right now. Winds are at 7 miles an hour. Kind of chilly. Our feels like temperature 30 degrees, and our sunset was at 422 tonight. Let's talk about the big local impact weather wise this weekend. It's going to be the wind. We're doing pretty good tonight through most of the day tomorrow, but tomorrow night late, probably after you go to bed or maybe as you head in from a night out, you'll start to see those winds picking up here in the Columbia Basin and along the foothills of the Blues and those blustery winds continue throughout the day. We'll continue to see strong gusts. This is at 7 a.m. They don't lighten up by noon. We continue to see those winds even at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. 5 o'clock down to 27 miles an hour. So very blustery. We could see wind gusts as high as 50 miles an hour. We've been tracking fog all day. Cleelum down to one mile of visibility. Okay through the Columbia Basin, Tri-Cities, but a little further to the south in Hermiston and Pendleton reduce visibility tonight. And again, we'll continue to see that fog through the area. Here's our weather pattern for the next few days. Again, that jet coming woo, right up between Idaho and Washington, and that's going to start bringing in that next system. So the southerly flow brings in some wet moisture, and on top of that, we've got cold air coming down from the uh, Canadian area, uh, Canada area, I should say. And with those two combining, that's going to create our gusty winds. Here's our rain showers. Those will continue snow showers for the Cascades. We have a winter weather advisory in the southern Cascades in Oregon. They're expecting anywhere from four to eight inches of snow. We could see anywhere from three to five inches in the Washington Cascades across Snoqualmie Pass. So you're going to want to keep an eye on that if you are traveling through the weekend. Here's our cloudy, foggy conditions tomorrow morning. Here comes those showers uh, beginning Saturday. Saturday evening across the Columbia Basin, and then we'll start to see the snow building up across the Cascade Mountains. More showers pushing off to the east, more snow into the Cascade Mountains and east slopes. Here's the bigger band we're talking about on Sunday. 
So if you're planning on traveling through the pass on Sunday, you want to be aware uh, there could be uh, some snow falling and winter driving conditions are very possible. Once this system moves out of our area and the winds calm down, things quiet down for a few days as we head into our Thanksgiving week. Patchy freezing fog tonight with temperatures in the 20s and 30s. 28 tonight, Tri-Cities, 27 in Yakima. Tomorrow, those temperatures stay cool. Again, those gusty to breezy winds. Plus, we have those rain showers heading our way tomorrow evening. So plan your day tomorrow. Look for the fog in the morning, overcast skies, rain starting early evening in the Tri-Cities. Yakima, same thing. We've got fog, cloudy skies, then those showers hitting late afternoon with light winds. Those winds again pick up late Saturday into Sunday. Here's what Walla Walla looks like in the morning. That dense fog they've been seeing for several days. 40% chance of rain later in the afternoon. Hermiston going to be dealing with fog, overcast conditions and rain showers for the latter part of the day. So I'll give you a big update with your seven day planning forecast. That's on the way. Alyssa. Thanks, Stacy. Now this weekend marks a milestone for the film Cement Suitcase. It's got some local ties, even one tie here to our own station. We're going to talk about a special screening next on Apple Valley News Now. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. You know, there's millions of people without the health insurance they need. I get it. You feel like it's too pricey, a headache to deal with, and not worth it. You deserve something better and better. We're on a mission to get everyone high quality health insurance. We have plans with as low as $0 out of pocket premiums, a network of local doctors, and a rewards program for making healthy choices. Nice. That's why we're America's number one marketplace health insurance. So call us or go online now. And better health on a mission for better. We're still going for that nice catch. We're still going for that sweet shot. And with higher stroke risk from AFib not caused by a heart valve problem, we're going for a better treatment than warfarin, Eliquis. Eliquis reduces stroke risk and has less major bleeding. Over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. Don't stop taking Eliquis without talking to your doctor as this may increase your risk of stroke. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve or abnormal bleeding. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. Get help right away for unexpected bleeding or unusual bruising. It may increase your bleeding risk if you take certain medicines. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. The number one cardiologist prescribed blood thinner. We're going for it. Ask your doctor about Eliquis. At Mattress Depot USA, we're all about being friendly. Customer friendly. Our sleep consultants would tailor the perfect sleep solution just for you. Local friendly. We grew up here. Brand friendly. The top brands like Sealy, Stearns & Foster, Tempur-Pedic. Price friendly. We always give you the best value. We might just be the friendliest place on earth. Ha! Huh? Excuse me! Don't worry, you're still the happiest. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot, USA. Tonight, the Israel and Hamas hostage deal, where negotiations stand, and the IDF forces facing questions about the raid as they continue searching the Gaza hospital complex. More Americans turn to the most watched program on television, World News Tonight with David Muir. Twigs Bistro and Martini Bar. We're shaking things up. Save now with Bymart's latest membership savings book posted at Bymart.com. There are 16 pages of great store-wide savings, including everything you need to fill the pantry for the holidays. At Bymart, our members save more every day. moment. The film we're talking about Cement Suitcase, a special showing is coming up this weekend in Yakima and the film follows Franklin who is the best wine salesman in the Yakima Valley, hates his life and is on a journey to let go of some baggage. Now the movie was filmed in just 15 days. It's set in Granger, filmed all across the lower Yakima Valley. It has a 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes and has won several film festival awards. It's also written and directed by Rick Casta Castaneda who grew up in Granger after finishing film school at USC, returned to make a film in his hometown. 
I feel like, you know, a lot of times um, in this area, there's not so much outlet to, for, you know, making movies and like finding out what that's about. So I always wanted to come back and, you know, work with people here because I knew that I could get a lot of help. The Yakima Theater's doors open at 6 for a meet and greet with Castaneda and some of the cast members. The showing of Cement Suitcase is at 7, followed by a Q&A and screening of Castaneda's latest film called All Sorts. That was filmed primarily in Toppenish and Yakima. And tickets are still available online at yakimatheaters.com. Now here's a preview of what's ahead in five minutes on World News Tonight with David Muir. Tonight, the Israel and Hamas hostage deal, where negotiations stand, and the IDF forces facing questions about the raid as they continue searching the Gaza hospital complex. More Americans turn to the most watched program on television, World News Tonight with David Muir. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. If you missed out on getting a McRib in the past, here's your chance to get one before you miss out again. The McRib returns. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Honey, that was my brother. Can we bring him dinner tomorrow? He's been having a hard time since his accident. Of course, I know it's been tough. There's so many costs that his insurance doesn't even cover. I know, the ramp to his front door, transportation, meal preparation. What if something happens to one of us? We should plan to sit down soon. We can look through the long-term care benefits that we're earning with Walk Cares. Find out how the Wa Cares Fund can help. holiday season, do more together in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or get 5250 total value on this Silverado with a Turbo Max engine. See your community Chevy dealers. No insurance? No problem. At West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco, our membership plan starts at just $79 and costs only $35 a month. That's two cleanings, x-rays, and much more for just $35 a month. Learn more at WRFDC.com or PDPNW.com. Find us at one of our two locations, West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco. Stunning smiles for the whole family. Okay, so I'm not sure I could even talk about this, but U.S. Cellular has a new deal where you can get literally any Samsung Galaxy for free. You're so right. That's a totally awesome deal. And it's just in time for gift giving season, too. My business sense says that's a great deal. I'm gifting mine to my son. Wow. Excuse me, it's work. Talk to me. What a boss. <laughs> new and current customers can get any Samsung Galaxy free. Get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. If something's missing in your morning without a McDonald's breakfast, then try a new bagel sandwich. With fluffy egg, melty cheese, and your choice of a steak patty with grilled onion, or bacon, or sausage, well, those will fill the void deliciously. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Welcome back. We're taking a final look at your forecast. And Stacey, it's kind of been a roller coaster over the past couple of weeks, and then we just got cold. <laughs> it got really cold. We have that big Arctic blast. But let's take a look at the next seven days in Yakima. Not only foggy, but windy conditions. And then those temperatures stay on the cool side. Look at those overnight lows stay below freezing. It's going to be a cold one on Thanksgiving with your high close to 50, but those overnight lows in the 20s. Tri-Cities, check you out. It's going to be foggy and windy on Saturday, uh, and those winds will carry over into Sunday. So they're going to pick up Saturday night into Sunday, gusty winds. Uh, temperatures staying about the same for the next several days. 
It's going to be a chilly, cloudy, overcast day on Thanksgiving in the Columbia Basin Tri-Cities. Walla Walla, a little bit of a different story. Not only do we have wind there, we have rain showers, cold temperatures. We'll start to see some showers developing both Wednesday and Thursday. And Thursday, they're talking about maybe a little rain mix with snow in Walla Walla. But uh, And then I've been trying to go far in the future and see what our thir Thanksgiving travel is looking like. I'll have more details next week. So All right, always be prepared for anything, right? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Stacy, and thank you so much for watching. World News Tonight with David Muir is next. We're back tonight at 6. You can always find the latest anytime on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com.